for 40 days. But why do Muslims fast? The primary reason for this tradition is attributed to God the Almighty's command as stated in his final revelation, the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran was sent in service to the last and final nation, our nation, whereas the Bible, Torah, and all previous scriptures were sent to previous nations. God states in the Quran, O you who believe, fasting is prescribed to you as it was prescribed to those before you, that they may become righteous and hopefully learn self-restraint. Quran 2, 183. Fasting is an act of worship beloved by God. The holy month of Ramadan and the Creator's prescribed fasting is a gift and mercy to Muslims. God does not administer orders and directives to His followers unless they are wise and beneficial in content. But how is Ramadan and fasting a gift and mercy to those who fast sincerely? A sin is defined as an act of disobedience in which a person goes against the commandments of God. God deliberately placed human beings on earth knowing that they will sin. By nature of human beings, mankind is fallible and bound to sin due to outside evil influences. Whether these influences take the form of friends, family, the media, or a representative of Satan's temptation, those whispers that can tempt one from the straight path, leading them to destruction. God is willing to accept anyone's repentance. Allah, in fact, loves people who repent repeatedly. Mankind is liable to sin as a result of ignorance, forgetfulness, or as a direct result of Satan's intervention. Mankind needs to be educated to abstain from negative behaviors that go against commandments of God. God the Almighty states that the acts of fasting and abstaining from which is prohibited will increase one's taqwa. Taqwa is translated to mean God-fearing piety righteousness, mindfulness, and consciousness of God or the awareness that God is watching at all times. The concept of taqwa is expressed in the Qur'an more than 200 times. The word taqwa comes from the root word to guard. When one harbors taqwa or God consciousness in their heart, one loves to do good and avoid evil for the sake of God, never seeing the act as a problem or a burden. But how does one attain taqwa by fasting? The act of fasting is a shield for mankind. Fasting protects a person from sin and lustful desires. The purpose of fasting is not simply to train oneself to withstand hunger, thirst, and exhaustion. Rather, fasting disciplines the soul and the ego to surrender beloved material goods, wealth, fame, etc. for the sake of God. Fasting Muslims seek to overpower and suppress sin desires in themselves, putting aside all evils and bad behaviors to express their dedication and love to God, using the practice as a way to draw closer to Him so that God becomes a reality in their lives, resulting in a higher spiritual state. Fasting on Ramadan offers one the opportunity to develop spiritually and gain strength and control over one's soul and one's ego. Those very things that would dominate one's life when left unchecked and unmonitored. The act of a sincere and proper fasting for a full month every year is very beneficial for individuals and society as a whole as it develops piety and self-restraint. Once one is conscious that God is watching, once instances of sin and disobedience will dramatically decrease. Fasting recharges one's spiritual and physical state. Fasting cleanses the spiritual heart and instills virtuous qualities in humans, such as generosity and patience. Fasting also cleanses the soul, the mind, and the body, as temporarily giving up food, water, and disobedient acts is a natural way of removing toxins from the soul, mind, and body. When fasting, one controls the urge to eat and drink, empowering one to exercise self-control as it develops patience, inner strength, and willpower in a person. Additionally, fasting develops good qualities of endurance and self-restraint, helping one control his or her anger, tongue, and actions. Fasting empowers one to resist unlawful desires and wicked habits, which would help guard one against evil. Fasting in the month of Ramadan exercises one's ability of self-restraint so that one can apply it to their everyday life, thus bringing about self-improvement and self-development. Fasting suppresses worldly desires and strengthens one's spirituality. Muslims recite the Qur'an frequently. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.